Hey there, I'm Carol. I'm a second year student at the University of Toronto studying pharmacology and toxicology. Today, we'll be exploring how we can use the power of temperature and pressure to boil water using ice. For this experiment, you will need a glass bottle with its lid, a glass cup, water, and ice. Also, make sure you have adult supervision throughout this experiment as you will be needing to boil water. Now that you have the ingredients, let's get started! First, you will need to fill your glass bottle about a third of the way full with water. Next, you will need to place your bottle on a flat pan over the stove turned on high. Now wait for the water to boil. Make sure the bottle is open on the top. Once the water is boiling, turn off the heat and remove the glass carefully from the stove top. Make sure to use an oven mitt as the glass will be hot. Let the glass sit until the water stops bubbling. Once the water stops bubbling, quickly cover the top with its lid. Be careful at this step as the glass is still hot. With the lid securely on, flip the bottle upside down and place it into the cup. Now comes the fun part. Take a couple ice cubes and place them on the top of the glass bottle. After a while, you will notice the water inside start to boil. But why does this happen? Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. What's also important is that water will only boil at this temperature at regular room pressure. This is the pressure you experience on a daily basis, something you probably don't even feel because you're so used to it. When something boils, it changes from a liquid phase to a gaseous phase. This means the particles go from being compact and close together, like candy in a bag, to being loose and far apart, like balloons in the sky. You can change water from a liquid to a gas by raising its temperature, or you can also lower the pressure. This is exactly what we see in this experiment. By flipping the bottle over and placing the ice on top of the bottle, we're lowering the pressure inside the bottle. The coldness of the ice condenses the water vapor, and because liquids are more compact than gases, it means that inside the bottle, we now have more empty space. This empty space, in a sense, pulls the particles out of the liquid and converts them into water vapor, creating the signature bubbling that you see. That means the water requires less heat to be boiled in the first place. In other words, lower pressure gets water to boil faster. Mountain climbers experience the same thing. When they climb up high mountains, they reach higher altitudes where air pressure drops. So every time they boil water, it starts to boil a lot easier. From this experiment, you hopefully learned that converting water from its liquid phase to its gaseous phase is affected by both temperature and pressure when it gets boiled. Thank you for watching! Make sure to try out this experiment for yourself! If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe for more cool experiments like this one. And don't forget to check out other Pablo Science videos on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Bye guys!